What is good, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Ruffled Rowlett, and welcome back to a brand new video, guys. Now, today, ladies and gentlemen, uh, basically what we have in front of us is that the Pokemon Company actually just released a overview trailer for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. It's basically a trailer going through all the stuff we've been shown so far, which gets me a little bit worried that this might be the final trailer we might get, because it's such a... Like, it's just... Like, why give us an overview trailer uh, at this point, you know, unless everything you wanted to show us is already shown and you just want now to refresh us on everything you've shown us. Like, I don't know, man, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit scared, but, um, I mean, I know some people might not care. You might be like, eh, hey, that's perfect. You know, I've already seen enough. I don't really want to see anything else, but I really want to personally see the evolutions uh, of the starter Pokemon, like at least the second stage evolutions, not the final evos, but... At least the second stages because it makes it easier for me to know which one I'm going to pick. Because I'm kind of liking all the starters. Um, and I'm having a hard time to pick between Grookey and Skull Bunny. Right now I'm on Skull Bunny, but I'm worried it might Skull Bunny might get a bad evolution. And same thing with Grookey. If I go for Grookey, I'm worried it might get a bad evolution. So... But what I'm trying to get to is, I'm a little bit torn. Also, I apologize if my eyes look really, really tired. It's because they are. I've barely been sleeping for like four or five hours. I'm actually like super tired. Um... I was up last night recording a video for you guys and also just trying to get into Call of Duty Modern Warfare, which just did not work. Um, so I'm very, very tired. I apologize if I look very much like just my eyes hurt. Uh, so ladies and gentlemen, let's get started by taking a look at this actual little, little video right here, shall we? So here it is. Uh, now I'm going to keep the audio off due to the reason that it's just too risky. And I thought we'd just watch through this and just kind of like go along. I'm not going to pause or anything because... It's a pretty hefty uh, video. It's about 10 minutes almost. So it doesn't feel worth it to just kind of like pause it and stuff. Uh, but here we go. So of course, Grookey and all these starters being shown off in terms of gameplay. Uh, interacting with it within Pokemon Camp. Uh, as you can see right there, that it's also talking to Wooloo there. Which of course is in the starting town when, you know, uh, your in-game mother has like a Wooloo or whatever. Um, or actually, I'm not sure if that's a neighbor's. But um, here we see Skull Bunny and then Sobble, of course. Sobble is just adorable. That smile is just... So cute. Uh, and it's also doing the same thing. Golisopod also alongside there walking around in the Pokemon Camp feature, which I do wonder how Pokemon Camp is going to affect Pokemon stats and stuff, but we'll see. Uh, then Wulu, of course, which was one of the first Pokemon, if not the first Pokemon besides the starters that was introduced to us, which I think a lot of people loved, and it actually got me really, really excited when I did see it. I was actually got so happy. Um, and you'll see it running away. Then we got uh, Gossy Flower, uh, as well as its evolution probably after this one, which is going to be uh, Eldegoss. Um, we still do have a, a few indications, at least for Wooloo, that it might have, like, evolutions, like, based on some of the Dynamax camera website, uh, like, you know, stuff, like, it indicates that we might have, you know, that sort of stuff for it, but, you know, nothing's ever 100% certain, so, just have to wait and see how it turns out, but, um, we've got Eldegoss, of course, you know, big, fluffy, and, you know, nothing too out of the ordinary, just same old, same old, um, and yeah, just wanted to make sure there was no, no other, like, Serbia update on my phone, because usually I get, you know, messages for that. Uh, then, of course, the most uh, epic of birds, which is going to be Corby Knight, as per usual. This Pokemon is honestly one of the most fantastic-looking things, like, they've ever made. Like, I'm genuinely being honest when I say that. Like, this is amazing. Uh, of course, the taxis, and that's what they look like. We've seen them before a little bit, but, um, like, in that exact, like, you know, position, we've seen them. Uh, here's also Gigantamax Corby Knight, I guess, like, kind of just to show it off as they're showing off, like, it's normal you know, um, base, base, you know, form, uh, and then also Dreadnought, which, uh, you know, also has a, uh, Gigantamax form, which I think they're gonna show right now, um, of course, it being one of the three Pokemon that have, uh, that have confirmed, that are confirmed for us, um, from, like, Galar that have, uh, you know, Gigantamax forms, um, and it's just another one of them, so here we can see it's actually Gigantamax, which you guys have seen before, boom, stands on two, and just looks, um, Pretty menacing, I'm gonna be honest. Pretty menacing. <sighs> then we got Yamper. Now, Yamper uh, does not have a, a seemingly a Gigantamax form just yet. Uh, we don't know if it will have, uh, but it seems like, you know, in terms of Yamper, they might, it might have actually a evolution. Like, everything and everything seems to indicate that. And then, of course, we've got Roly Coley, which uh, we've seen before. Also, seemingly being a Pokemon that indicates, based on the Dynamax, uh, you know, uh, camera website uh, data mine and some of the other stuff, uh, it seems to indicate that that's going to be the case for it as well. Um, and then we also have, um, on top of that, Duralda being shown off. Uh, seemingly meant to be, like, the counterpart to Ra Tarantar, which is why it's fighting Tarantar here. With Tarantar being based on Godzilla and Duralda seemingly being based on uh, Mecha Godzilla, you know, like a robot Godzilla. 
which is uh, pretty interesting. Then we also, of course, got uh, Alcremi, the Pokemon with about like 22 different forms. As you guys know, it's been confirmed. It's got it's gonna have like about 22 different forms or something, which is, by the way, like pretty like incredible. Honestly, like wow that they wanted to make that many forms of that single Pokemon. Of course, they've done it in the past, like Pavilion, that's that, that sort of stuff. But it's just still interesting to see they've gone down that path. Uh, then here you get to see Gigantamax uh, form of Alcremi. Uh, turn into a giant, like, um, I guess, like, wedding cake almost. I'm not really sure, but it, it looks pretty pretty huge, pretty epic. Uh, then, of course, more Pekko, one of the strangest Pokemon, the one that looks the most like Pikachu, which is a really odd one. Uh, that, of course, has two different forms. It's got its hangry mode, where it's uh, hungry and, it, you know, it's, 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 it's mad and it wants to get its uh, food, but it's not getting it, so it's frustrated. It's, 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 a, it's a Pikachu, okay, that, that just gets angry. Let's just be honest. Uh, no, but I'm just messing around. But it actually looks pretty cool, and uh, it's, it's an interesting Pokemon. I do prefer its hangry mode, though. Uh, way more, but uh, next up though is going to be Galarian Weezing, uh, which of course you guys remember was being revealed a while back, um, which is a strange Pokemon, of course, that a lot of people didn't appreciate it because it's another Kanto Pokemon getting a form, whereas other Pokemon are still left behind, so a lot of people got sad over that, which is fully totally understandable. Then of course we do have Zigzagoon, which is probably my favorite, like, form they've ever done, because uh, it just looks so freaking cool. Now, I'm not a big fan of Obst Obstagoon, but I am a big fan of Zigzagoon uh, and Linoon as well, um, like Galarian form, because they look adorable, man, like, it looks so cool. I I mean, I mean, Linoon doesn't look adorable. It, lo it looks just, like, really cool. Uh, and, of course, all his kiss theme is, like, pretty pretty interesting, in my opinion. It's just... I don't know. I kind of like w what they went with. I'm going to be honest. Like, it's it's pretty it's pretty unique, to say the least. Um, and then, of course, we have Obstagoon. Uh, the first, like, uh, Galarian evolution revealed to us. Uh, which um, was quite interesting, to say the least. Uh, as you can see right here, there it is. Obstagoon, big old chunky boy. Uh, being revealed as per usual. And uh, I don't really know what else to really mention here. I mean, what else is there really to mention about Obstagoon? It's just... Is this chunky? <sighs> <sighs> and it won't be... Um, and the Pokemon company will not be sued for it. So that's uh, you know, <laughs> that's a good enough indication. Uh, then, of course, we have... Um, I think Cramorant is what this one's called, uh, unless I'm getting that wrong. Uh, this, of course, is the bird that was also in the Ben Affleck leak. Uh, this bird was mentioned to be having a barracuda in his mouth that it shoots out like a, you know, like just spits out like that, which is what it's going to do right here. See, boom. D just did that. Now, we're not sure if that barracuda Pokemon in its mouth is actually going to be an actual individual Pokemon. We don't know about that. Then there's also Pulte, guys, which uh, seemingly uh, is going to get a evolution. Uh, it's going to be some sort of teapot. Um, like a, a like a elephant teapot type thing, which would make a lot of sense, by the way, as well. Also, here we can see a bit more gameplay out of the actual, um, you know, um, Glimwood Tangle, uh, Glimwood Tangle, or whatever it's called. You can see a little bit more of that. And, of course, we have Surfetched, one of the Pokemon that uh, had, like, probably the best reveal, I'd say, uh, with the whole, like, glitched thing, you know, it had one of the coolest reveals. And, of course, we called it straight away. It was going to be surfetched because the image looked so much like it and all that stuff. And, you know, we kind of prepared for it. Now, of course, we've been also been told yesterday that surfetched wasn't based on the gold and silver uh, beta version of surfetched, but rather just like, you know, something they made now. Uh, then we, of course, have Galarian Panita, the thing that calls me uh, less sleep than uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Uh, the, the, the one Pokemon that probably is going to frustrate me for the rest of my life, which is this Ponita right here. Now, why is Galarian Ponita pain? Because you have to wait 24 hours to get it revealed and nothing else. It was a little bit annoying. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> what else can I really say about that except, oh boy. And then, of course, we have a Gigantamax uh, Cherizard, uh, which we got revealed the other, like, last week, I think, or, uh, yeah, last week. I was going to say this week, but no, it was actually last week, I think, we got this revealed. Um... Of course, Chunky Boy Charizard, nothing brand new to really see there. We've already seen it before. A really cool design. I mean, I know the whole Kanto thing is a big issue. I think a lot of people agree that, like, you know, the Kanto Pokemon getting Giga Gigantamax forms just seems like, you know, when are the other games and, you know, other Pokemon, other generation going to get some love? Like, is it always going to be Kanto getting priority for cool stuff? Or is it always going to be, like, Charizard already had Megas and all that stuff. And it gets another form here. Whereas other Pokemon, like, you know, other generation starters haven't even gotten a single thing. Like, not even a Mega. Or a, a you know, anything unique. So it's a little bit sad. But, um... What can you really do? Then, of course, we've got Eevee as well here. We just had Pikachu a second ago. And, of course, these are receivable, FYI. Uh, this Pikachu and this Eevee, uh, Gigantamax forms. Um, they're unevolvable, by the way. You cannot evolve them uh, in these games. And also, not just them, but any Pokemon here that you see that has a Gigantamax form, like Meowth, like a Gigantamax Meowth cannot be evolved. Uh, but as for the Eevee and Pikachu, you can actually receive these Eevee and Pikachu um, very simply by going into, by having a save file of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu or Let's Go Eevee on your uh 
Switch. If you have a save file of those two games, or one of those two games, uh, you can receive a Pikachu or Eevee, depending on which game you have a save file of on your console. So, if you play those games, then it should be on your console, and you should be able to get access to those things. So, yeah, it should be pretty straightforward. Um, then on top of that also, we have a Meowth, of course, the probably coolest and most... Most unique, to say the least, uh, you know, in Gigantamax form, uh, which is Long Neck, Long Boy, you know, not really Long Neck, but Long Boy, uh, Long Boy uh, Meowth, which is just so strange, I mean, I don't even know what to say, man, uh, Game Freak are interesting, like, very interesting as a company, I've got to be honest, like, they're, they're <laughs> a strange company, man, uh, but yeah, that is just about it, Dolation Joe, and of course, you get the Gigantamax Meowth if you pre-order the game, and you redeem the code you get uh, within that time span, um, then also right here we just get a few other things that just have nothing really to do with uh, more information. So it's of course the quick ball thing, which is if you pre-order the game. Uh, this of course also the pre-order for uh, you know uh, the dual pack or whatever, and you receive uh, you know um, um, Larvitar and whatnot. So yeah. Uh, but yeah, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. So that is the uh, overview video, guys. Overview trailer. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little video here. If you guys did, then drop a like down below. My name is Rolf Rally. I'm probably going to get some sleep right now and wake up a little bit later and try to get back on track and do a few streams, maybe. Or a stream, not a few streams, but a stream later today for you guys if you want to see that. Either way, ladies and gentlemen, drop a like down below if you guys did enjoy. My name is Rolf Rally. Let's see if we can get a thousand likes on this video if possible. And we probably will not because nobody made it this far into the video. Probably, probably left it like the first minute. But if you made it this far into the video, comment down below. Hashtag taco. Uh, and you know, it's gonna be our little inside joke just you and me, me and you guys, you know, so that the other people don't know um, But yeah, so thank you so much for watching ladies and gentlemen. Much better for Alex. Ever since a great one. Peace out ladies and gentlemen. Bye-bye